Today we're going to be looking at how well the Intel Arc B580 can run Oblivion Remastered. So I know there has been some performance issues with this game, but I was just wondering how playable it would be with this GPU. Also keep in mind I'm not running this GPU in a high-end system on my channel, I like to keep things realistic hardware wise. So in other words, we don't run CPUs, should I say, with the letter X in them and GPUs with the letter XT or TI in them. So basically mid-level type stuff. So before we actually even get into the benchmarks, let me just quickly run you through the specs of this PC I'm running this GPU in. So we have the Intel 12th Gen Core i5 for the CPU, specifically the 12400F. The CPU has 6 cores and 12 threads. For RAM we are running a total of 32 gigs of DDR5 running at 5600 MHz. It is running in dual channel. The game is installed on an SSD, that being the Rogueware NX100S. Nothing special, but it gets the job done. For the motherboard, if you are interested, it is a MSI Pro B760M-P. With that out the way, let's now get to the benchmarks. Please note that you do not need a GPU that supports ray tracing for this game to work. It does support software based ray tracing. Starting at 1440p with hardware accelerated ray tracing enabled, with the ray tracing preset set to high, we maintain the following results. Also note, for this benchmark we did have upscaling enable, enabled, we used XCSS with a preset of balanced. So for the high graphics preset, the B580 maintained an average FPS of 45. For the 1% lows, it came in at 37 frames per second, and, VRAM usage was, and the VRAM usage was around 9.4 gigs of usage. For the medium graphics preset, the B580 managed an average FPS of 57, with the 1% lows coming in at 48. A decent increase on both the average FPS and 1% lows when comparing to the high graphics preset. As far as VRAM usage, not much of a difference there, as it's 9.4 gigs of VRAM usage at the high preset versus 9.3 gigs at the medium preset. Let's now look at the 1440p results for the same graphical presets, but for the ray tracing preset set to medium. So for the graphical preset of high, an average FPS of 48 was maintained, for the 1% loads we came in at 39 and VRAM usage increased to 9.5 gigs of VRAM. For the graphical preset of medium, the average FPS came in at 59, 1% loads were sitting at 49 and VRAM was sitting at 9.3. Definitely we are still seeing a big difference between the graphical presets here, not much of a difference between the medium ray tracing preset and the high ray tracing preset. Sticking at 1440p I wanted to see what software ray tracing looked like and the performance gains there if any. So we stuck with the medium graphical preset but jump between the high and low presets for the software ray tracing. So at software ray tracing with the high preset we maintained an average FPS of 63, 1% lows came in at 51 and the VRAM usage was around 9.1 gigs. Sticking with the medium graphical preset but the ray tracing preset to low our average FPS uh, increased to 67. 1% lows increased by 1 FPS taking us to 52 and VRAM was around 9 gigs of VRAM usage. So a bit of a bump there. Uh, let's take a look at the differences as far as the looks are concerned visually. Dropping down to 1080p with hardware ray tracing enabled with the high ray tracing preset we maintain the following results. So for the graphical high preset an average FPS of 58 was obtained. For the 1% lows those came in at 46 and VRAM usage was sitting around 9.2 gigs of usage. For the medium graphical preset the average FPS was 66 and the 1% lows came in at 55. Not much of a difference VRAM wise here as the VRAM usage sat at around 9.1 gigs of VRAM. Here I took a look at the difference between the hardware ray tracing presets that being the high preset versus the medium preset and we got the following results for 1080p. So for the graphical medium preset but with the ray tracing preset set to high the average FPS came in at 66, the 1% lows came in at 55 and VRAM usage was sitting around 9.1 gigs. 
for the same medium graphical preset, but for the ray tracing preset of medium, the average FPS came in at 68, 1% lows came in at 58, and the VRAM usage stuck the same, stuck to the same, that being 9.1 gigs. So not much of a difference here between the different ray tracing presets. Sticking with 1080p, I then looked at the software ray tracing results. So the only two presets, that being high and low for the for the software ray tracing presets are stuck to the medium presets from a graphical perspective. So looking at the results for the high software ray tracing preset, we maintained an average FPS of 78, 1% lows came in at 63, VRAM usage was 9.1 gigs for software ray tracing, but with the low preset, the average FPS came in at 82 and 1% lows came in at 65. Not a big difference there, same with the VRAM, but again, there were some benefits frame rate wise going with the lower preset. Now let's take a look at the next set of results here. We've got 1440p versus 1080p. With hardware ray tracing set to high, the graphical preset set to high, but the frame rates are rather low. That's because there is no, there's no upscaling enabled. I'm whispering because it sounds like nowadays, with, if you don't, enable upscaling it's like an illegal activity all right with that said though as i say frame rates aren't looking too great but for the game itself they are playable not all games are playable at these frame rates but i'd say this one is let's now jump onto the next set of results out of my own curiosity i wanted to compare software ray tracing results versus the hardware ray tracing results so here we have those very results for 1440p where i've done a comparison i'm not going to walk you through the results as I've already done that. Here you can just have a visualization of the differences between software ray tracing versus hardware ray tracing from a performance perspective. I also did the same for 1080p, software ray tracing versus hardware ray tracing.